Hello, everybody. Eric here with another episode talking about Jack, uh, Jack, F. Paul Wilson's Secret History of the World. And the book I'm talking about today is The Dark at the End, which is a repairman Jack novel. Uh, this is from Tor. And uh, F. Paul Wilson in the foreword, or author's note, or whatever he calls it, says it is the final installment in the Repairman Jack series. It's the first sentence. You hold the final installment in the Repairman Jack series. I do believe Night World, which is the last book in this entire series, is labeled Repairman Jack and the Adversary Cycle. Not 100% sure about that. Uh, but this is the final Repairman Jack. Um, so, before I get into things, as usual, going to review the book. Then going to talk about how it fits in, where things might get spoilery. So, you know, you can just listen to the review part, skip the rest if you don't want anything spoiled. All right, that's it. All right, that, that was weird. But anyway, <laughs> so, I'm not going to try to nutshell this book uh, without spoilers. So, what I'm going to do is read the back cover copy. Because then it's out of my hands. I'm not responsible for anything I might give away. Just be warned. This book... Obviously, you can read any book you want at any time you want without any previous book reading. That's on you. But this book is going to make almost no sense if you haven't read previous Repairman Jack, and Adversary Cycle books. Um, so, just be warned, things could be spoiled with the simplest reading of a back cover copy. This is what it says. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, right off the bat. Here we go. But be warned. Okay. We good? All right. <laughs> Nothing is holding Jack in check any longer, not even his promise to Glaken to refrain from making any direct moves against Rassilum. Jack is healing at an accelerated rate, much like Glaken did when he was immortal. This can only mean that Glaken's time is almost up, and when he dies, Jack will take his place. Rassilum continues to plot against the Lady. Twice she has died and returned, a third time and she will be gone, leaving a clear path for the otherness to infiltrate this reality. But Ernst Drexler, formerly Rassilum's go-to guy for logistical support, fears he will be left out in the cold when the change comes. He forms an uneasy alliance with Jack, who is preparing to face their old enemy. Now the stage is set for Jack's massive assault on Rassilum, and Jack knows he's got just one shot. I think there's a lot of spoilers in there. If you've never read anything, then you're not going to understand what any of that means. But if you've read some but aren't completely caught up, this kind of spoils a little bit of, of things. Just that back cover copy. So, uh, right off the bat, for the too long didn't watch, folks, I gave this four out of five. Uh, it's very, very good. It's very intense. There's so much going on. There is essentially a core story, but so many tentacles, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, but it, it, you've got uh, the Septimus Order. You've got the Kickers. You've got Glaken and the Lady. You've got Rassilum. You've got uh, Dawn Pickering and her baby. You've got uh, Wheezy and her brother, who were originally... Actually, I don't know if they were originally in the Young Jack books or if they were in the Repairman Jack novels and then retroactively put in the Young Jack books. I don't know the chronological order of the writing of these things. Um, but uh, so tons of characters, tons of things going on. <coughs> characters coming and going, power shifting, and... I enjoyed all of it, especially at this point where I'm reading these books so close together. Um, and 
it 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 really is the dark at the end. It's a dark, dark story. There's some crazy stuff that goes on. I can't talk about too much of it, but it is uh, since I'm supposed to be reviewing. Uh, it is the typical F. Paul Wilson solid writing with interesting characters, fascinating things going on. Um, and as I said, it's a, it's a breakneck pace. So absolutely four out of five. Uh, maybe even up to four and a half. Can't go five because there are books in the series that I like better, that I love, that I think are just amazing. But uh, definitely a solid four, four and a half out of five. Um, and again, technically you could read it and understand the core of what's going on, but maybe the whys of what's going on, you wouldn't necessarily get. Although, I mean, he, the characters do talk about things. So essentially, you know, they're going to tell you it, it, there's a point in the book early on where you, if you've never read any of this before, you'll learn that it's, you know, it's a battle between darkness and light for a lot. Well, darkness and humanity, because again, the ally isn't on our side. It's just against the otherness, uh, but you'll learn that. So you're not going to be totally lost, but it would be like watching. I, I feel like I've used these things, these analogies before. So I'm trying to think of a different one. I'm trying to think of a like a movie that's in the middle of a series. But any series off the top of my head, it wouldn't matter. Like you can watch Friday the Thirteenth, Part Eight. Doesn't matter if you've seen the other ones. Um, you can watch, I think, any James Bond movie. It doesn't matter if you've seen the other ones. So I don't know off the top of my head. I can't think of a movie that fits. But anyway. Uh, so as far as the review part goes, four, four and a half out of five. If you're a fan of F. Paul Wilson and if you've read the other stuff, highly, highly recommend it. If you've gotten to this point reading the other stuff, there's it would be crazy not to read this unless you hated all the other stuff. Um, can't recommend it as just, hey, pick this up as your first F. Paul Wilson and read it. Um, but it's a fantastic book. All right. Now, we're going to get into how it fits in, although we've talked a lot about that already. There may be spoilers. Uh, there will be some light spoilers. We're going to try to avoid the big stuff. But let's start with where it fits in, in the timeline. So I've got my updated timeline. And so, if there's anybody who hasn't watched any of this and doesn't know... Secret History of the World series ends with Night World, which is in year zero. And so everything previous to that, there's year zero, year zero minus one is the year before, year zero minus two is the year before that, etc. And the dark at the end takes place in March of year zero. Night World takes place in May, just to give you some perspective. Um, this followed Fatal Error, which took place in February of year zero. I believe there's a point where they say it's been like two weeks. Yes, it does. It definitely says two weeks because <laughs> something happens. There's a big, huge thing that happens in Fatal Error, and this is two weeks later. And so the reper it you know deals with the repercussions of this that giant thing that happened in Fatal Error. See how I'm trying to avoid spoilers. So we're moments away from the end of the world as we know it, and Night World. Uh, as a matter of fact, the next book for me to read in the series is Signals, and then the, and then Night World. That's it. I have two more books. So, uh, as I said, the Dark at the End takes place, starts at least about two weeks after the end of Fatal Error. And so people, uh, the world's dealing with the repercussions of the previous book. But what we've got is our main core story is Dawn Pickering in a previous book. 
Now I don't remember if it was Fatal Error or the previous one. Um, here, here we're getting into spoilers if you haven't read earlier stuff. Dawn had her baby and was told that her baby died at childbirth, essentially. Was whisked away, but when she, she got a glimpse of it, it didn't look normal. So, this is... It, Dawn is looking. She does not believe her baby is dead. She's trying to find the baby. And this is basically what leads us to um, the core story. Dawn looking for her baby. The fallout from that, for lack of a better term. Um, and at the same time, Rassilum is putting his final... He, he learned some information in Reprisal, an adversary cycle book. He learned some information there that has allowed him to kick things up a notch. And so he's got this plot to finally take out the lady. That's what he's working on. And Jack... Now that he's been, now that he's off the leash, just wants to, just, he wants to kill Rasslin any way he can. Um, and while all this is going on, uh, the kicker guy, whose name I can't think of off the top of my head, Hank Thompson, I want to say, but don't take my word for it. You know, he's trying to figure out, you know, he thinks the otherness is coming, the change is coming, he's going to be, have a place in the change, and as it said in the, pointing to the wrong book, the back cover copy, Ernst Drexler, who's an actuary in the Septimus Order, uh, he's playing both sides, and as, as the Septimus Order is trying to get things set, because they believe, at least the, high, the real high ups in the Septimus Order, think that they're going to be around during the change. Basically, all these humans that are helping Rassilum, uh believe that they'll be kings for again for lack of a better term uh, after the change all other humanity is going to suffer they're going to be basically Rassilum's chosen ones and uh, running things reaping the rewards of the change um, but players moving around like chess pieces on the board so this, and again, I can't, I don't want to spoil things, but this absolutely sets up Nightworld, and I don't know how this fits in between. I'll know eventually. Um, just a warning, although by the time this posts, we're going to be pretty close to the end of the year because I have a bunch of reviews and stuff coming up first. Uh, but right now, it is October 7th, and for October, I'm going to forego this and Nightworld to read a bunch of trashy horror, I think. I may throw some classy horror in there, but I think I'm going back to pulpy sort of uh, uh, paperbacks from hell kind of stuff for October. I like to have a theme. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's quite the digression. But just just so you know, it'll be a little bit of time between this video and the next one. And so it'll be at least three and a half weeks before I read this and figure out how exactly it's going to fit in between The Dark at the End and Night World. Um, but we'll see. Because, man, the end of this book. I'm mean, everything. These last few books in this whole thing, the uh, reprisal and fatal, fatal error and ground zero and uh, the other one that I can't see up there. That must be fatal error. Um, it's all just been building. It's amazing how much this has been building. Night World is uh, uh, supposed to be a heavily revised because it originally came out I think before all of the Repairman Jack books, except the first one, um, I was actually looking at a 
a, a thing about all this stuff and uh, publication dates for all these books. And I believe I believe Night World originally came out before the second Repairman Jack book, uh, which uh, is Legacies. Um, I'd love to find an original, an old edition of Night World and compare it after I've read the new one that, again, heavily revised to bring all these new story elements into it. I'd love to find an old copy and read that and see the how big the differences are. But anyway, um, yes, again, I don't want to talk too much about too many things. I'm trying to avoid the big spoilers. Um, so I think I covered most of the important stuff. Very excited to see how all this all ends. But it is going to have to wait till after uh, my October reading. Anyway, that's The Dark at the End. F. Paul Wilson, a Repairman Jack novel. The almost penultimate. What's the what's one before penultimate book in the secret history of the world? And um, I was going to say... So, I feel like I was going to say something else. But I might be completely wrong about that. Uh... Yeah, I lost it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, I don't do any questions at the end of these videos. I'm discombobulated now because, again, I, I feel there was something I was going to say. And since I don't edit these, I can't edit edit any of this out. Uh, if you, Oh, I know what I was going to say. Nothing big. But it comes down to this. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. This is what I wanted to mention. If you want more details, if you want to know stuff, comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. We don't want to spoil it for anybody who doesn't want it spoiled. I'm not a fan of spoilers. Um, and I know other people aren't. Some people don't care. Some people don't like spoilers. So post a spoiler warning. Um... Please like, share, and subscribe, all the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, at the time of recording, I'm still on Twitter, at Ronan5757. Uh, Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. Uh, and if you're on Blue Sky, I am at E-L Smith. That's all I have for you this time. So until next time, Read more books.